Next, we'll add the bass. From the tracks window, I select Add and name the track in the same manner as with the drums, and then select the MIDI port for the bass. This bass track goes to MIDI port 5. Now I can record the bass part from the keyboard in the same manner as I did with the drums. There's a function called looping. So rather than playing the bass part through the entire song, I can just play the bass part once and loop it throughout the song. Now we'll add the melody track. In the same manner, I'll select Add a Track and name it. Now I'll select the port for melody and assign it to MIDI channel 2. You may have noticed there was a wrong note. Now we'll correct that note through two methods. The first way is to enter the edit window for the melody track by clicking twice on the word melody. In the edit window, I find that note by its corresponding measure in the counters window. Now by clicking on that note, I can change it by typing in on the keyboard of the Macintosh or by playing the correct note in on the keyboard. Now perhaps I've decided I would like another melody in this composition. I can keep the first melody track in memory and add an alternate track. Performer allows me to change many aspects of the composition from beginning to end. First I can decide to transpose, to change the key. I select the tracks that I would like to transpose and then select the key that I would like to transpose to. Now the selected tracks are played back in the new key. Since Performer is playing back from memory the performance information, I can also change the sounds on the various sound modules. Let's take the melody track for instance. The melody thus far has been played on a trumpet sound. I can change this sound to be the sound of an organ. Now I can change the sound again to a harpsichord while performer is playing back the composition. It enables the musician to edit sounds while the track is actually being played back. The tempo can also be varied. We can slow it down or speed it up. This can be done manually while the track is playing back. The role that a computer can play in music varies greatly. At one end of the scale, it's used solely as a compositional tool, and live musicians are used for performance. At the other end of the scale, it's used as a control device to play the parts of a finished piece. MIDI offers a variety of benefits to musicians, from the professional to the serious amateur to music students and enthusiasts. It can expand a musician's creative outlets. A single musician can compose or experiment all the parts of a song before the other musicians are brought in. It can also save musicians time and money. Complete compositions can be worked out in advance, saving on studio costs which can exceed $100 an hour. In addition, a complete composition can be stored on a floppy disk and taken to a MIDI studio for recording. <laughs>